Hello, I'm the locomotive engineer. So my NKP190 project has been backburnered for a lot longer than I would have hoped. <coughs> I was recently encouraged to take another look at it. Specifically, I decided to look into options for 3D printing the most visually interesting model of the bunch, the dilapidated pre-restoration version of DNH18. I have a few hobby-level printers at home, but I wanted to get this printed professionally. I've used Shapeways for several projects in the past, and I would have liked to use them again for this project. They have gone through a lot of difficulty in recent years, however, so I wanted to see what other options were available. I assumed that Shapeways couldn't be the only company offering that kind of service, but I had trouble finding a reasonable equivalent until a company called JLC3DP, based out of Hong Kong, was recommended to me. Like Shapeways, they offer a variety of professional-grade materials and finishes, including a full-color resin option. With all my model tolerances geared towards Shapeways standards, there was a little bit of back and forth to get everything ready to print. Another difficulty lay in the fact that Shapeways used a file format native to SketchUp for full-color models, whereas JLC required that I convert to another file type before uploading. I got all those things figured out, however, and sent my files off for printing. I uploaded two models as a test. First, the flat car used to transport DNH-18 north from Mexico, and second, a bust of the Alco cut off at the nose. I mainly wanted to get a sense of the color and detail accuracy, and with the flat car I also wanted to see how well a large model could turn out. Within a surprisingly short turnaround, I received my completed prints. Let's take a look at what I got. I ordered the models with full post-processing, which for resin prints includes not only complete removal of the support material residue, but sandblasting to a glossy finish. Right out of the box, then, these look quite unlike any 3D print I've ever seen. This is the type of 3D printing that sci-fi movies like to show. Both are simply 3D models brought directly to life in full color, without any obvious layering or printing artifacts. That being said, however, they're not perfect by any means. Looking at the PA nose, we can see that the cab steps did not survive the sandblasting process, which was more or less as expected, though I still wanted to see just how far I could push the material and the design. The colors are not 100% perfect either. Some of the color boundaries are really sharp, but the stripes and other fine details get a little fuzzy in places. This is more than adequate for a model designed to depict a locomotive with faded and sun-bleached paint, but full color technology is not quite ready for full lettering and fine pinstriping just yet. At the end of the day, however, these are quite modest complaints. This print easily lived up to my expectations. The flat car, on the other hand, has some real issues. Most apparently, the model clearly experienced some severe warping during the curing process. This was, again, pretty much as I expected, but I still wanted to try and find out if I could get away with such an aggressive print. Obviously, the answer was no. Beyond the warping, however, the overall print quality is still quite high. There are some minor color issues where the model thins out, but the finish is still excellent. The trucks turned out quite nicely as well. Though not really usable as a model due to the warping, I'm still quite satisfied with it, and consider it to have been a useful experiment. Overall, I'm very happy with both of my prints, and would already be working on ordering a full model of the PA 
if not for <clears throat> um, certain recent international developments, that could make shipping a little difficult. Once things settle down a little bit in that regard, however, I hope to still continue forward with this project. For now, it has been very interesting to see how far 3D printing technology has progressed in the last few years. Until next time, I'm the Locomotive Engineer. Thanks for watching.